hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how i make my kalalu rice so stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the video okay guys so now i'm just washing my vegetables my kalalu and scallion and thyme you want to ensure that you wash all your vegetables just to get rid of anything that's not supposed to be in there okay so here i have my coconut milk powder that i'm going to be using i'll be using some of my kaksu mix and i did cut up my vegetable already my kalalu and my scallion i also had a three cloves of garlic here and i'll be using well a little over two cups of rice okay so here i added the pack of coconut powder to one cup of water this is warm water so i'm going to just be mixing this before i add it to my pot Okay, so here I have two cups of water that I already added to the pot and it's now heated. So I'm going to be pouring my coconut milk in. This is just the way that I do it, guys. Before I add everything, I always put on the water first. After which I'll be adding in my three cloves of garlic and my scallion and thyme. Also one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of my all-purpose seasoning. This is optional. This is just what I like to add to my kalalu rice to give it flavor. You could use whatever seasoning that you have. And now I'm just going to be stirring this a little bit before I add the rest of the ingredients. And now I'll be adding in my kalalu. Okay, so now I'm just going to be stirring this also to get everything nicely incorporated before we add our rice. This is one of my favorite rice dishes, guys. You should really give this a try if you've never had Kalalu rice. Okay, so now I'm just going to be adding a little of my seasoning from the cock soup. I don't want the noodles to be in there, guys. That's why I do it like this through the strainer. If you have no problem, you can add the noodles. And I'm going to be adding about a tablespoon of butter, a tablespoon and a half. And now I'm just mixing everything together and then I'm going to be adding in my rice that was washed. Okay, I'm going to be straining off this excess water first and add the rest of rice that you see remaining in the pan. But I'm just going to be stirring this a little bit first. Uh, 
and I'm also going to be adding one of my scotch bonnet pepper it's just for flavor I did not cut it so it's not going to make the rice over spicy and now I'm just going to be covering the pot and I have it on a medium heat at this moment and now after about six minutes or so I did check on my rice just to see how everything was going and I did reduce the flame at this stage to low because uh, at this stage that's when you want to reduce the flame before all the water dries out and that will leave your rice not being cooked thoroughly and now I'm just going to cover for another 20 minutes okay so after about 20-25 minutes I now check back on my rice to see if it was cooked thoroughly remember guys you can do your test as you go mine may finish at 25 minutes or so yours depending on the portion may finish before 25 minutes so you can always just check on the grains of your rice to see if they are thoroughly cooked and you should be okay at this stage my rice was cooked so I'm just going to turn off the flames but I still normally leave my rice on for another 10 minutes or so before I dish it out so it was still cooking with the heat and all in that 10 minutes time frame okay guys so here you have it once it's all done and trust me it's pretty simple and it's really delicious remember to give this video a thumbs up comment and also subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching see you in the next video